Yeah, yeah, so like I was saying, you dig? It took me 10 motherfucking years from the year 2000 to the year 2010. 10 years to gather up information, gather up a lot of shit from different locations, you know what I'm saying, to figure out who was my real friend, who were the real snitches, and who were the real motherfuckers to put me up on game as far as what was going on in the streets and how a lot of motherfuckers got misguided or a lot of motherfuckers got put up to lie to a motherfucker on some sneaky ass, greasy ass, punk ass bitch shit, you dig? But yeah, a lot of the information I kind of like than my own private investigation, you dig? A lot of the information I got from friends, friends of the family, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the information I got from like people that knew something about something. You know what I'm saying? In the city of New York. And when I mean New York, I ain't gonna put out particular boroughs out there. But yeah, just my unknown sources down in NYC. And as far as, you know, my stepmother having an affair, I had to pretty much, you know, get it out of somebody else, which wasn't my stepmother, you know, somebody else, you know what I'm saying, kind of like broke it down to me how, you know, these motherfuckers was seeing each other, sleeping with each other within that six, six and a half month period while I was in jail. So, as far as D and his mother's bodyguard why would a mason set up another mason? That's what I don't fucking understand about, you know, you motherfuckers commenting and all shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers are saying, like, yeah, if he was a snitch, you know, why D didn't go to jail as well? I can't answer that. You know what I'm saying? But if it, all I'm saying is if D knew he was a fucking snitch-ass bitch nigga, why the fuck the nigga wasn't a bodyguard at all after I got released from jail? You know, I ain't seen a motherfucker working with him. I ain't never seen D mentioning the nigga name at all. And I'm sure D wasn't even talking to the nigga because I was hanging out with the nigga D. You know, D was on the west side of L.A. This fat faggot was living in fucking San Diego as far as a bodyguard. You know, this fat faggot was in San Diego. So... I didn't know how to get in contact with this dickhead. You know, nobody I knew from Shaka Khan's side of the family even knew this nigga whereabouts, you know what I'm saying? This nigga was just laying low for whatever reason he had going on, you know what I'm saying? So it was no way in hell I could have tracked a nigga down if nobody even know where the fuck this fat faggot is at, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, other than that, referring to the fact that if the bodyguard locked me up, why didn't lock up D? Obviously because it was a fucking setup, you ignorant motherfuckers. And if y'all if y'all wanna understand more on what I'm talking about, you can email me, you know what I'm saying, your fucking these fucking type of questions. E double D Y period M I double R O R S dot com. Once again that's Eddie period mirrors at AOL.com because if you motherfuckers is holding on information that I don't know about, holla at me, man. Send me them emails. You know what I'm saying? No love loss. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of shit that I didn't want to bring up within my videos. Y'all niggas consider this shit hate, you know, a hate crime. <laughs> but I don't, there's a lot of shit I don't want to, you know, let out. You know, I ain't ready to spill all the beans. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I got an upcoming novel coming soon. You know what I'm saying? So it's in the process, you know. It's in the works right now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't giving nobody no release date. I ain't letting nobody know, you know, what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Within my novel, because all of that's confidential. She's so not even in my family know about this shit. You dig? 
Now, motherfuckers is talking about the record label and all of that, you know what I'm saying? If y'all go back to my videos, it wasn't even about the money. You silly ass horses. This this was the record label that, that wasn't for me. It was for D. This was D's record label. But I was offered a position within the, you know, within the record label. He was gonna start, you know what I'm saying? I was I was gonna be um I was offered half partnership of the co-founder ownership deal. You know what I'm saying? I had that on the table before I got locked up. You know what I'm saying? It was just it was just the process was taking a long time, you know what I'm saying? But that was that was my answer to that funky ass question you had, you fucking dickhead. I was already offered a co-founder ownership deal. So what the fuck is you smoking on? You invisible bitch. Now, the money wasn't even for me at all. You know what I'm saying? The money was for the artists that was going to be on the new label that niggas had in the works. You fat, stinking ass horse. But the reason why Shaka Khan's kids ain't got no record label deal because at the end of the day, it was all about Shaka Khan. It was Shaka Khan's greed that got in the way of from not getting their own kids a record label deal. You know what I'm saying? Or even having their own type of record record business. You know what I'm saying? Her greed got in the way. And anybody that knows Shaka Khan like I know, they know the truth behind all of that. You can ask Tammy McQuarrie. I'm sure she will give you the same fucking answer. Now... You talking about me coming around with him. Why did I continuously hang around with him? Nigga, when I got released from jail, I didn't even know the nigga number. I didn't know nothing about his fucking whereabouts. I didn't have nobody's number when I got out. When I got out, I didn't talk to anybody. D, D got the number through the fucking bodyguard. And the bodyguard was fucking my stepmother. So, D... You know, I don't know how the fuck they work the shit out. You know what I'm saying? Within the bodyguard, Damien, and my fucking stepmother. But when I got out, I said like a couple of hours, you know what I'm saying? While I'm out, you know what I'm saying? They situated that nonsense.